Hello and welcome. We're going to be uh, continuing from where we left off. Uh, we are trying to design a post app for that will have three questions. One will be asking, Who are you going to be voting as the Nigerian president? Nigerian president. Which local government are you in and which uh, American president are you going to be voting? So, those are the three questions. And uh, so, let's get to it. I'm going to quickly share my screen. So this is where we left up. I can just make sure that I'm in a leg poster, which is the name of my project. So to do that, I'm going to say CD into a leg poster. Okay. So I'm there now. So we're going to quickly uh, finish off some certain things that we're not able to finish up. And that includes adding very simple codes. So we all know that we are working from... Uh, we are doing a similar work like we have on the Django project website. So we are concluding at part four, like I said before. The other parts, five, six, and seven, uh, five has to do with uh, testing, seven has to do with other things. But in the next project we are going to be doing that one, we'll now work on it. So we simply want to get us to working with uh, basic Django, and that is the essence of this. So quickly, I'm going to uh, create an index.html uh, page that will help us to attribute our index page for the polls. And to do that, I'm going to go into polls and create a folder known as templates. Then inside templates folder, I create another folder known as polls. Then inside it, that's where I will have my index.html. Uh, some of you have already finished this project last week. I'm just doing this for those of them that have not finished it. I gave it an assignment and most people are done with it. But I'm going to quickly finish this up. So I'm going to go to post. This is my post. So I click on it. Make sure that you click on post. Then you're creating a new folder. And that folder is going to be called templates. Please, can you hear me from, uh, from, from digital audience? Can you hear me? Uh, Allah, can you hear me? Okay, so I have templates. Then inside templates, I'm creating another folder. And that folder is going to be full. Okay. So inside folder is where I will now create a new file known as index.html. Index.html. Allah, can you hear me? So inside index. Yes, I can, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay. So I will now press this very good. I'll do control. Yes, so this, yes, sir. I can hear you. Good morning. Okay, this is the code for the index.html. So once you get to post, this is what you're supposed to see. And this is going to just lay out the questions for you. So to make it look much better, I'm going to simply go down. This is part three. Remember where I got this code is from part three. So I'm gonna go straight down and do one last instruction. Replace the list with this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna replace the list with this. I'm gonna simply pick out this code that I have here. Get back here. Just get to the list. This is the list item here. Place it with that and do control S to save. So this is the final index.html. But index.html is not the only view that we have. We have other template views. And to make them up, I'm gonna go to um, part four, which is where I have them. So number one thing is that I'm gonna have the hello and welcome. So we had little network issues, so we are we're gonna join back immediately. So I'm gonna quickly share my screen. Okay. So this is where I am. So I'm gonna have these details, a uh, minimal form for details so that we can actually do the voting. So this is the form to do the voting. And this form is gonna have radio button with the choices. So after voting, you can submit your vote. So I'm gonna quickly pick this out. You can see it has to be inside detail.html under post template. So I'm gonna quickly get back here. So this is my post template. So I'm gonna say new. 
So I'm going to have detail.html. So that is the file I'm going to control V to paste and control S to save. It's going to have a radio button that will have the choices. So all the choices are available, and that is what this is doing. Okay. So uh, I think we're almost done. So I'm going to come down to. Uh, uh, we are going to be using generic fields to enable us to use lesser codes. And to do that, because we are using generic fields, we're going to change our uh, the post URL to file. I'm going to pick up this code now for the post URL dot file. So when I get here, under post URL dot file, this is the URL dot file under post. So I'm going to put this now so that you can link to results and votes and every other thing. So I'm going to click Ctrl S to save. Okay. Then I'm also going to go to my uh, view dot file and now have this code. <laughs> So that I can do generic views. So I'll explain this generic view much better. That's what you're going to be using. It's far more better than the other one. So I'm going to go to views. So this is the only thing I have in my views. I'm going to control R, control B, and control S to see. So this generic view will be able to link up to the index view, detail view, result view, and votes. So for votes, it's not here yet. So I'm going to go pick up votes. So votes, I'm going to see votes here. Uh, okay, so this is votes. I'm going to simply just pick up just here. And I'll get back here. Put the votes. Okay. So that's done. Uh, I think that should be it. That should be it. I'm going to do Ctrl S to save. So with that, I should have everything that I want. Okay. So I can now run my code. I think everything should be perfect now. And to run, I simply say uh, Python manage dot by uh, run server. Okay, so if there is no error, it's going to run, and I should be able to see my application for voting for Nigeria. Okay, we also had another uh, network schematic scribble. So I'm going to still share my screen uh, so that we can continue. So what we're able to do is that uh, as I left over, I was trying to run the server. I did Python manage the file run server. You can see it's running appropriately. That means there's no error. So I'm going to simply copy this uh, link, localhost port 8000, which is where it is running. And I'm going to go to my uh, browser and paste it. But you know I'm going to slash pull. So I'm going to put polls here. Okay, so the development server is running. Okay, you can see the three questions. Which candidate will you vote as American president? Who are you voting for as Nigerian president and what local government? So I'm going to click the first one for American president. I have Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I'm going to vote Trump and I'm going to say vote. And it's going to show me, uh, okay, showing me error. So probably there's something wrong with my results. If I go back and pick uh, which, who am I voting for as the next Nigerian president? Say Nasri Arifai, Pito, Bibola Tinobu. So I'm going to pick, uh, uh, let me pick row five for now and see the way it looks. Okay, so my result is actually giving props. So I'm gonna get the result and do something. If I pick P2B. Okay, if I pick Bola Tinobu. Okay, so I'm having issues on my results. So I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so let me still go back and check out what local government are you. You can see I'm at Gokulada Buari. So I'm going to pick up ladder, which is the local government where I'm in. Okay, the same thing. So I can see slash results. 
template does not exist. So I don't have class result template, that's why. So to quickly yeah. do that, it's very simple. I can come here under my post. I need to have results. You can see the uh, result template is somewhere here. So make sure you have results. Can you see this is the results template? I don't have it. So I'm going to quickly take this. This is the result. So I'm going to go back here and go to uh, go to post templates. So template, you see I have only details and index. So I'm going to new file. So I'm going to say results result dot html. That's what I don't have. So once I press the enter key, I should be able to come here and paste this and do control S to save. So with that, I think it should be done now. Okay, let me try it out. If it's not showing, then I have to restart my server. So, so this is result. Okay, you can see results is not showing. So I can vote again. Coagulada is having two votes now. So vote again, I can go back to the main questions and try which candidate am I voting? Donald Trump vote. Okay, you can see Donald Trump now has two votes. Vote again, Donald Trump. He now has three votes. Vote again, Donald Trump. He now has four votes. So if I go back, you can vote anybody you want to vote. Okay, so this back. Why are you voting in Nigeria next election? P2P vote. You can see. It's not having to do so other people are having one more. So that's about it for this application. You can use it to do a simple post app. If you want to collect information, data, like you are going to do data science, you want to collect information, you can prepare in form of this post so that you get as many people picking a particular information so that you can check. If you want to know how many houses, ebos of land is in this Google geography, understand? That's a data that you can use to do your data science. Can prepare a simple poll like this that in the case if you are Hausa, you click on Hausa radio button. If you are Igbo, you click. So, with that, you can collect the information knowing the full how many Hausa, how many Fulanis are in Google. Like you can also collect gender, female, male. You understand? In form of this voting, they will call their pick. If it's male, you pick male. You now, from there, you can see the count of male, you can see the count of female. So with those sort of data, you can do your data science. See the way all these things are. They are all interwoven. Your knowledge of Python Django, you can use it to collect the information on the data that you use in your machine learning when you get to learn your machine learning. So everything is interwoven. So anything you're learning, make sure you're learning the very well. So you can see now that we're able to prepare a simple post app. Simple post app that has three questions. So your own can have as many questions as possible, uh, depending on the type of data that you want to collect. And you can see it's very, very easy, very effective using uh, Django. So uh, we are going to be doing a new project that will be using Django to design a blog, a blog system. If you want to develop a blog, and you're going to see that we'll use the same uh, pattern that we used here. It's not going to be difficult. It's going to be very simple. It's going to even be less difficult than this. So this is about a more difficult basic uh, class in Django that you can use to learn a whole lot of things. So when we design a blog using Django, you're going to find out that you're doing the same thing. But you have to paint uh, uh, up your mastery of the whole thing. So I'm going to quickly give you um, a quick uh, recap of what we did. We created a folder, new Django. Then inside it, we run the uh, start project elect poster which is the name of our website then inside the elect poster you have the normal elect poster we also did start up post in order for us to have the post app then inside the post app we have the templates that want to show us our view and those templates are the details index and results and we also have the normal models which contain our database database is containing tables questions and choice and we have our url.py uh, showing the linkages to all those, uh, uh, to the various views that we have, the both results and the index view. So we have the index view, detail view, results and votes. And to see those views, you click on views. You are using generic view to show them. So this is for the index view. This is for the 
itself, we did it for the results, we did it for the food. And we are using generic view because we want to have lesser codes because all these have already been taken care of uh, in Django using the generic view so that you can just output without writing long uh, lines of codes. And those we are the things we did. So after doing it, we did our manage.file the run server and we're able to get our website to be running up like this. So you can see this is a very simple website, very effective. It's very simple, but it's very, very powerful. The voting and the whole thing, picking out the results of the vote is very powerful. You can use it to develop something of higher scale. And we're going to be using it to render simple blog. You see that the blog, developing a blog will be much more easier than this. Uh, so that's where we're going to be stopping. Uh, remember, everything you want is in Christ Jesus. And being a born again is the surest way to success. I'll uh, see you when I see you. After this class, we're going to be having a Photoshop class. If you want to join, join up. Thank you. And get ready for the blog uh, website. That's what we're starting tomorrow. Django blog. You'll get a blog website using Django. That's what we'll do tomorrow. So get used to what we've done so far. As we are redoing the same steps using the Django uh, blog, you're going to learn much better.